Welcome back, welcome back. So, there is a um, bandit fort just there. I think that's quite a tricky one. I believe the best way of approaching it is round up that side, rather than where I've mocked that. So I think we'll go that way and try and go up there. I think there's a campfire up there as well, so we'll do that. That'll be a better idea. Yes, corrupt stone's clear. There is another corrupted zone down here, plus a merchant, but we'll come back to that point. Come back there at some point. Um, skills wise we need another point. We're still run, running a low, bit low on wire. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There'll be a merchant at some point. Did we still need a boar skin for our crafting? Yeah, for the hunter boat. A fish bone still and a fox bone. In fact, let's use those while we're um, while we're so low. Oh, well, it's a blue one. Hopefully, it's not another ridiculous animal talisman. Yay, boar skin! Go for the hunter boat. Excellent. So, fox skin and fox bone we need. Fox skin, fox bone. right there and uh, nothing away the sense for now mine included If Nils is hanging around, I've never seen him around this one. Maybe he's the other side. Black smoke, red tatters, more bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. you so we can just push on that way uh, but I think we'll go and clear out the bandit camp Did we see a fire yep there was a campfire just there So heavy, that guy with a skull who has disappeared.
Bingo. I forget where the alarm is. I think it's just past those guys over there, maybe. So what's happening down there? Okay, let's try and this could be a risk. An alarm. Can't let them get to it. Well, we made it to Taking those travelers captive. We might have trouble. Difficult to see where they're looking. something uh, no come on no alarms for you okay alarms down right that side up here Settle down soon enough. <clears throat> Let's go back and loot.
Don't want that. What am I not carrying? Shop shops, okay. Was it one shot, one detonation? Okay. And the blast. those guys and they'll get freed when we finish off the other two which I think we'll do now is that just the campfire? yes getting soaked from melted snow come on Bingo. some of these mods Take away some of the really low ones. Okay. I'm pretty sure we don't need these. Get rid of them now. Okay. 
a lot of blaze. Need to pass a wire. And let's just see if he's got on now, still no better. Weapons. Treasure box. Oh, there we go. Maps. So that was that bandit camp done. That will just go and collect. Yes, yeah, so this will show off the areas where these particular collectibles are at. A bit of a hike to get back down to that. Well, it's not that much of a hike, but we'll, we'll fast travel over here. No, we won't, that's just lazy. Let's just mark it and just see if it's close. Oh, it's down there. sniffing around Open those boxes. Okay. It's an antidote for if you get sick with the corruption. So I'm have a look how much wire I've got now. Oh, we should have got more. We get more in day tower. There's a little fight when we get to day tower with uh, one of those, um, the corruptors, like three legged things. Come 
Go on, baby. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's do a bit of looting. Then, as soon as we walk up to that door, I think they'll open it up and let us in. upon us this day <sighs> it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here so will you open the gate for me now <laughs> you heard her open the gates and send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balon. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nicola came through. and the new glands. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. No, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? 
Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram, and the Sunring where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Osram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Osram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Osram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them, scaled the North Cliff with my men, and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Hmm. Let's ask about Nakoa. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zayi can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Zayid is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. If there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. Um... Don't know that. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. So that one is all the way back. I think. Okay, let's find it in the quest. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's round. Is that a lake? I think it's round that lake area. Or this lake. Got to be that one. It's a tricky one. But yes, we'll be doing that one next. We'll go and talk to Zaid first. Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Anything to pick up around here? We'll go and gather. Watch out for the gather up everything we can. Can't trust him. Can't have to wait on told me. That garrison is my only lead. There we go. That didn't want to go there, did it? Oh, 
charge a war boat. Uh, we'll take a rope caster as well. I think we have. I'm not sure what kind of. Oh, we've got a Kaja Sling. And then there's a Kaja Blast Sling. Which is slightly different. We'll get a rope caster. Then we'll get a Blast Sling. or oh, running low. To want that, but we ain't got a better back heart, so it didn't really matter. Him. A machine's daemon did this. A machine's spirit did that. I heard you talking about trouble in Vanuke lands. <sighs> Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there. <laughs> Not with the Vanuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuke funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. <laughs> Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. Uh, guard, so that there. leads to the um, DLC area. It's actually quite fun. It's sort of very tough mo machines to take out up there. Um, so I'm going to end it here. In between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to swap around my weapons and put some upgrades in um, so I've got all the new stuff equipped and then we'll be heading back to the Forsaken Village uh, and we'll try and get a few of those tutorials ticked off as well along the way well thanks for watching take care and see you next time